Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Volume precedes price. Is that true? Does it work? Is it tradable? Is it actionable? I want to talk about that. And uh, I'm probably going to give you more questions than answers today, but that's because sometimes I don't always know all the answers. I've done a lot of research on whether volume precedes price. In other words, uh, if you get a candlestick with a large volume bar, you know, a heavy uh, buying volume, like in this, uh, you know, this candlestick here has heavy buying uh, volume, and then this candlestick has heavy selling volume. Uh, but is that meaningful? Uh, is a candlestick with a large, or like over here, is a candlestick with a bigger uh, volume bar or heavier trading, more shares or contracts or whatever being bought and sold during that period, is that more meaningful, more impactful, more actionable than uh, candlesticks with uh, lower uh, volume, smaller volume bars, less trading going on, less buying and selling during that period, during that candlestick? You know, I, I don't know. I, I Because I have not found any research studies that prove or disprove that concept. So what do I recommend? Well, let's talk about it. Uh, I'll show you what I've got here. Uh, okay, so volume precedes price. That's the theory. That's the hypothesis here. And let me uh, hit you with a, a quote here. Stocks do not rise in price unless demand exceeds supply. Demand is measured in volume and thus volume must precede price. That's not according to me, that's according, according to Joe Granville. And uh, here's my commentary on that. The theory is that a price change with low volume is less meaningful, while a, pr a price change with high volume is more likely to continue in the same direction. All right, so if you have a green candlestick and a large, tall green volume bar underneath it, the theory here, according to volume precedes price, uh, is that uh, the price will continue going up uh, if it's green. And if it's a, a big red volume bar, then the idea is that the price will continue downward or is more likely to. It's based on the idea that the smart money, uh, meaning institutional investors, that kind of thing, hedge funds, the smart money, which tends to outperform or do better than small scale retail traders, will come into a trade with large volume orders when the time is right. Uh, so those those large uh, volume bars may indicate uh, you know the, where the smart money is trading. That's the theory. Now some traders will therefore buy when the price is down with low volume, uh, especially if there's no obvious catalyst or cause for the price going down. Also, some traders will buy when the price is going up with high volume. Uh, so yeah, I like to buy low, uh, you know, when the price is low. And so the theory here is that uh, if the price of a stock or whatever is low, it's down, and, and you don't see a really good reason for it being down, a, an obvious catalyst or cause, uh, and it's down on low volume, that, that volume, the red volume bar is very small, uh, that could make you want to buy it even more. Uh, because even though the price is down, perhaps hedge funds, you know, the smart money were not not uh, as involved uh, in that selling. Okay, so that's the the theory. And then uh, you can also buy uh, when there's a big green uh, candlestick and volume bar. All right, because then uh, you're buying supposedly when the hedge funds and the smart money are also buying at the same time. Uh, so how can you do this? Well, you could just look, like, like we just discussed, you can look at the candlesticks and the size of the volume bars. You can also use these three indicators to help you. And there are other ones, but these are three popular ones. Uh, you can use the volume bars and or the OBV, which is the on balance volume. Uh, the VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price, these are all indicators, or the VWMA, uh, Volume Weighted Moving Average, to measure the trading volume along with the price action and other factors and weighed into those uh, formulas for those indicators. And please understand, it's only a theory, it's just a hypothesis, it does not always work. All right, Do not count on any of these to work 100% of the time. Uh, I have videos on the OBV, the VWAP, the VWMA, 
In fact, I have videos on almost every popular indicator out there, I think. So, uh, you know, feel free to uh, click on my playlist for technical indicators. Uh, and I'll put that at the end of this video with the end screen. All right. Uh, so I put all those up here. Okay. So this is, uh, these are uh, the five minute candlesticks for MasterCard. Uh, but, you know, all these concepts that I've ta talked about today could also work with daily candlesticks or just about any, practically any time frame I can think of. Uh, and then uh, this is what the on balance volume OBV line looks like if you're interested in that. And it's separated. It's, it's kind of like the stochastics or RSI, something like that, where it's separate and below the candlesticks by default on, on trading view here. Uh, and then if you want something that's on top of the candlesticks, uh, then you could use the VWAP, which is in purple here, or the VWMA, which is in orange here. And it's too much to explain all those separately, but I do have uh, separate videos on all those, and feel free to watch those if you'd like to. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, and please subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell if you haven't done that already. If you'd like more help with uh, trading or investing, then you can contact me for coaching at davidmodell at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. I'll talk to you again soon.